All right, hey everybody, this is Andy with Ministry Equipping and we're gonna do a new uh, rundown of a keys lesson on the song, Build My Life. So on this one, we're gonna look more specifically at some rhythms we can be doing. Uh, and also it's in a new key for us, so that's always stretching to learn some of the different keys we're playing. So right off the top, you'll notice we're in the key of D, which means we're gonna have two sharps in our key signature, but it also means that uh, the chords that we're playing are gonna have to be adjusted. Uh, so again, in the key of D, our one chord is D, our four chord is G, our five chord is A, our minor six chord is B minor, and then we may have some other keys, uh, some other uh, chords in there as well, like E minor. Okay, so that will adjust some of the substitutions we're doing, but let's dive into some rhythms we can do to play in Build My Life. So we'll start off kind of below the melody in this lower mid-range of the keyboard. And what's important to know when we're looking at rhythms is you really don't have to be that complicated. A lot of times people will overplay the rhythms that they're doing or just be really consistent. You could do quarter notes with just your right hand and changes on your left to define the rhythm going in. But I would suggest doing even less than that. So right away, what we're gonna be doing is playing and holding and playing into the key changes, into those chord changes. So I'm wanting to play on the one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three, four and one, two. So that's a really common way to play a rhythm is not a constant pattern that's going, but play, hold, or do something simple, play into the next chord change, and then hold there. That's gonna really help emphasize the harmonic changes, but it's also gonna give a more interesting rhythm than something that goes over and over again. So let's work through the first verse together. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe, we live for you. You can always play more when there's not a melody line over the top. Jesus, the name above every other name. And Jesus, the only one who could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe, we live for you. Oh, we live for you. So you'll notice I played into the changes each time, and if ever there was an extended space where there was nothing happening in the melody, I would play more and fill in. You're wanting to hold and let the melody sit above everything we're doing, and then fill in some of the other spaces uh, with what we're playing with the keys. Okay, let's go to a more common pattern rhythmically that we would play during the chorus. This is gonna be another eighth note rocking pattern, but it's gonna be a down and up one. Here we go. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. So I just did a real common eighth note rocking pattern. Uh, I also went up higher in the register to put that off and be different from where we were playing in the verse. But that is pretty simple and pretty basic. The other thing you'll notice is I was doing the G2 chord, substituting an E minor seven, and whenever I did the B minor, I was playing the B in my left hand with the minor seven chord in my right, not playing the root note in my right hand. So that looks like a D major chord over a B minor, okay? That's how we're gonna substitute all of our minor seven chords is 
play the chord in your right hand without the root and let your left hand cover the root. Okay, now we get to do some other part where we get this lead line going on in Build My Life. Here's how that would go. And I'm just gonna play open octaves with the fifth in the middle in this instrumental part that just goes repeated like this. I want to make sure that you guys know that D over F sharp is a D chord with an F sharp in the bass. So when I go to play it in octaves over the F sharp, I want to make sure we're not playing the C sharp as our middle note because that's not in the D chord. We're doing an inversion, so it should be F sharp, D, F sharp, okay? So that's how we might play that lead line over top, which is just D, E, F sharp, A over and over again until that last measure, B, a, F sharp, E. The last thing I'll show you guys is how we might build that uh, bigger in the bridge. So we might play that melody line over top with it. I will build my, at the first part. But as we want to get bigger, I'd suggest coming down and start playing more. Uh, so one thing I'll teach you here is how to do a straight build. Whenever we're doing a straight build in worship, it's a way to keep, kind of build energy, be really deliberate uh, into a new section. And what'll happen is we'll kind of, we'll start pulsing on a regular rhythmic pattern that's not changing. And then it'll grow in intensity, so we're going quarter notes, three and four and one and to eighth notes. You can rock it or you can just play it. Shake and holy, there is no one like. So we can go quarter notes, quarter notes to eighth notes. Uh, depending on the straight build, you could possibly go to 16th notes or something more. And you can, what I'll do a lot is hold with my pinky and then play the whole chord with my thumb and my left hand and then also my right hand. That's a way to build into that section if you're trying to do it. So another thing we can do in the bridge is to try and uh, um, build uh, from this melody line into something before we're doing a straight build, which might come down. I will build my life. So one thing I'll teach you is this three over four technique where we're going to arpeggiate our three note chord in our right hand over the 4-4 four, four measure and it'll create an interesting changing uh, pulse. Upon your love, it is a firm foundation. I will put my trust in you. could double that if you wanted to with 16th notes. I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation. At this tempo, that's maybe a little too much for what we would begin with anyway. But those are some different rhythm techniques. Remember, play into the chord changes and don't feel like you always have to be playing something. Playing and holding is always good, especially on verses and intros and those kind of things. Thanks, guys.